here again. Part two of the video I've just did that you may have watched. So I recommend you watch part one before you watch part two, if, if you're interested. Um, <clears throat> so I installed one of these uh, Wits um, Speedy fans onto my TT01E chassis. And if you watched the video previously, you'll notice that I had issues with them. Um, it kept pulsing, so I thought there must have been a fault, somehow a fault with the, the it's receiving a signal, then for some reason cutting the signal. It was really weird. Um, in 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 the last video, towards the end of the video, well, once I'd edited the video, sorry, I'd uh, I'd already sent an email um, to Schumacher, and they got back to me the same the same day later on and was asking me various questions. It's, it's very difficult to diagnose um, something, <laughs> I'll say over the phone, via email from some random customer like myself, and they've got to try and try and help you. It was, it was really peculiar, but let me just show you. Uh, it is installed. You'll notice that of, of the fans uh, installed slightly to the left now of the mounting poles, sort of the furthest, furthest most left holes and it kind of goes over the the brushed area the commutator part of the um, motor what, what, to be honest with you as the car is going forwards and that's blowing air down plus that will it's going to aid cooling the motor anyway in my opinion but it's it's all plugged in so let me just show you so I've plugged the battery in I'm just going to switch it on And there we go. So it works, which is peculiar. Now I'm going to show you something. Uh, so I'm just going to undo the fixing bolts. Might get in, in the way if I can help it. Um, I just need to move these bolts out. I don't want to drop them. One there and one there. Right. Let me just move that a bit closer. So there's the fan. I'm gonna try and do this so you can see. I'm gonna have to hold the I don't know, maybe I'll hold it that way. Right, let me just switch it back on. So that's the fan. I'm gonna put it near the motor. And it stops. Move it away. Near the motor. That's weird. Move it across. And it works. I'll turn it off. So what I could put it down to is the magnets in the motor are affecting the back of the fan. Well, I'm guessing that's the magnets must interfere with the motor that's in. It's got a motor in there, or some form of must have a motor, mustn't it? So the magnets on my motor affect the magnets on the fan, which is uh, well, that's what I can put it down to. When I spoke to um, a chap, helpful chap called Mick at Schumacher Racing, he mentioned it could be the the bolts are too tight. Um, what they do recommend is that this fan is actually servo taped to the chassis. Let's do that up a little bit there. Not too tight, it'll strip. It's, taped or servo taped on the edge, on well, any edge, doesn't really matter, on the chassis, so it blows out towards the uh, the end bar somewhere, but there's just no room in the TT01 chassis for that to happen, so I've had to use um, this mount, this aluminium mount. Um, yeah, so there's the, uh, th there's your answer. So going back to the part one video, yes, I had problems, I've demonstrated there the problems I've got. It might be okay with a different motor. If you've got a motor with a slightly weaker magnet, uh, this is a, tr I can't remember what this is now, but 
it's a triple turned motor, so it's quite it's got quite a lot of um you know magnetic resistance there. It is a powerful motor. And but yeah, so the fan, the other fan, which I'll just show you. I mean, it is very, it's the same on the back, but that, that works okay. Well, that there's plastic, but the one on the back here, and then it looks like it's like, I don't know what it is, what it, like carbon, uh, not carbon, um, that electrical stuff, is it Bakelite? I don't know what it's called, that plasticky stuff that they use, I don't know. But yeah, so, There you go. I'm thinking to myself, that might be the battery going flat now, because I, I thought it was the, the, the Nike had. I thought that may have been too, too low. There we go. It did sound quicker when I had it away from the motor then, but it's pretty going flat. Anyway, so that's the end of that video. Uh, that sort of concludes part two. I didn't want to do a short because it's just not long enough. I'm literally now going to cable tie the, the sort of the bundle of the wires to go. I'm not going to show you that. It's just putting a cable tie on. So that will just keep that out of the way of any moving parts and down the side of the chassis. Um, but there's a red cable tie here. So yeah, we're done. So I hope you found that useful, helpful, if you get that problem at all. Uh, but yeah, all, all well and good, I think. So thanks for watching. That's uh, the end of that one, into part two. That's from Wits. Also, yeah, Schumacher, helpful as ever. Um, things are not normally what they seem at first glance, but it's sometimes you get some strange electrical issues when you're putting RC cars together. But thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.